they were known as the Aero Girls, young women whose portraits advertised chocolate in the 1950s with the tagline, the milk chocolate that's different. The post-war campaign was innovative for its time, featuring expensive oil paintings of the 20 girls. For years, the pictures languished in an archive, but a few weeks ago, Channel 4 News located one of the Aero Girls, and now we found the last living artist involved in the campaign. Casey Razzle went to meet him and reunite him with one of his sitters. All very good portraits involve a feeling for the essence of the person. Frederick Dean made portrait painting his life's work, despite losing an eye in the war. The artist now lives in Snowdonia, but we're taking the nearly 90-year-old back in time to find out what links him to an 85-year-old former model and a series of portraits painted in the 1950s. The answer is chocolate. You've probably wondered at some time or another how these delightful little wiggly things get on the top of a chocolate. It was the heyday of chocolate making head. in York, and Roundtree's wanted a campaign to reflect that. There's no girl like a Yorkshire girl for dexterity. They chose to advertise Aero well. using portraits of young women, painted more than 60 years ago and rediscovered recently by archivists at York University's Borthwick Institute. But who were the Aero girls? <laughs> Channel 4 News has already tracked down the woman used in this Aero TV advert. Ninety-three year old Pamela Singh. Who's this? It's me. But Frederick Dean is, we believe, the only artist hired for the Aero campaign who's still alive. Living on what well, the grant was, which was about three pounds a week. Uh, it was, wasn't a lot of fun. He's even got the letter the advertising firm sent the young student, offering £300 a year as long as he didn't paint for anyone else. It's pompous. What, I mean, this? He was pompous. Was he? Yes, cool, yeah. But he was giving you money, so it didn't matter. Well, that's right. That's right. <laughs> I remember I bought a smart overcoat. <laughs> One of the aero girls Mr I mean, Dean painted was a renowned model at the time, Myrtle Crawford. Unlike many of the other aero portraits, his picture of Myrtle is lost. Only a photograph remains. More than six decades on, reacquainting the pair seemed too good an opportunity to pass by. Hello, Myrtle. Mr. Dean reminds her what the advertising boss told the young painter on their first encounter. Take Myrtle round to the academy and in a taxi. And I said to him, you know, I didn't have the tuppence to rub together. And he took a, a, a £10 or a £20 note out of his pocket and, you know, and gave it to me. I remember we had some nice conversations anyway when I was sitting. Though full of life, the pair are too frail to travel to meet in person. But we journeyed the 200 miles from Snowdonia to Devon to show Lady Ackland, as she now is, the so picture. Do you, you recognise it? Yes, I would have recognised it, but it's such a long time ago that um, it brings it all back to me now, you know. Myrtle Crawford was a big star back then, one of a handful of British girls who graced European catwalks and fashion magazines. About five of us top models. Sounds awfully conceited to say that, but I mean, that was the way it was. I was terribly lucky because um, even being paid three pounds an hour was a fortune compared to the girls who did typing and that sort of thing. Myrtle Crawford was so famous she offered ready glamour to the campaign to sell chocolate. Different. But why did they advertise Aero like this? For her, Aero. They wanted to be different in a Britain emerging from war. I was shot in the afternoon, late afternoon of the 19th. In here, under my nose and out of my cheek. So what was Britain like after those horrors of war, as this artist began his career painting aero girls? It was a happy time. I mean, it was, it was full of gratitude to be alive. You hadn't died. That was the big kick. That was the context in which these two met. And we've been lucky enough to benefit all these years on from that brief encounter. So we've taken you on a trip down memory lane. You have. <laughs> Has it been no, enjoyable? It is a great fun. Yeah. Great fun. And perhaps we'll find the picture. That would be even better. Mm.